Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. It's going to be a very quick one, but I want to talk about Mother's Day. The history of Mother's Day. Now, it was never meant for us to say Happy Mother's Day. It was just meant to be said Mother's Day. So the Mother's Day is a celebration honoring the mother of the family, as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. It is celebrated on various days in many parts of the world, most commonly in the months of March or May. It complements similar celebrations honoring family members such as Father's Day, Siblings Day, and Grandparents Day. The modern Mother's Day began in the United States at the initiative of Anne Reeves Jarvis in the early 20th century. This is not directly related to the many traditions celebrated of mothers and motherhood that have existed throughout the world for over thousands of years, such as the Greek cult to Sabil, the Roman festival of Hilaria, or the Christian Mothering Sunday celebration. However, in some countries, Mother's Day is still synonymous with these older traditions. The U.S. derived modern versions of Mother's Day has been criticized for having becoming too much commercialized, which I agree with. Founder Jarvis herself regretted this extravagant commercialism and expressed views on how how that was never her intention, as well as her mother's. So I wanted to identify how we can keep it simple, you know, on this one day of the year, right, ladies? So um, some of the things that I have looked at and also that I like, um, one, writing mom a handwritten letter about how you feel about her definitely something I love because I love to keep that. Um, I'm a mother of three beautiful children, so anything that I can get from them that's handwritten, it just melts my heart. Two, draw or make a beautiful piece of artwork. There are some really cool ideas online, so definitely check it out. Um, three, cook for mom. Four, encourage mom to just rest and try not to expect that she takes care of you today, but instead you take care of her. And five, just enjoy the day. You do not need to spend money to show you care. I love this picture that's over here to the left. Oh my gosh. And I love it because it is an original from my little guy. Um, and it is a portrait of me. I will always keep this picture for the rest of my life. And that's why handmade items or handwritten notes or letters are so special to me. And my kids will know that. And I pray that they will continue to keep that tradition um, well into their their adulthood and pass it on to my grandkids, my future grandkids. So in our family, the tradition for Mother's Day is that my sons and husband create a day of pampering for me. This means they make breakfast and dinner for me, plus handmade gifts like this picture you see. Um, and just make it simple, make it relaxing, not running out to restaurants, not running out to um, crowded events. It's just, it's not ne needed. It's not something that I want to do. Um, and I just want to also remind those who may not be biological mother, mothers, you don't have to be a biological mother to celebrate Mother's Day. We as women are nurturing, caring, and giving of ourselves to others. And that was the original premise behind um, the American Mother's Day that Miss Jarvis and her mom, Jarvis, wanted to do. Remember, we were, as a country, um, dealing with war. And there was a lot of things happening where women had to really step up to help care for their families. And there was extreme poverty in the country. So I just want you guys to just enjoy your day. Um, and, you know, remember, it's not about the money. It's about the memories behind the day. And have a great Mother's Day. These are just a couple of websites that I use to create this information, um, and I believe in giving credit where credit is due, so please feel free to click on these links to read more about the history of Mother's Day and also to get some really great ideas that are free um, for Mother's Day.